And look what we found, everyone. Remember I said having a look at termite mounds, and that is, is crucial at the moment. You might get a lot of activity. Now I found something. I, can't, it's, I, I think it's a... Um, I've hit a complete blank. Um, it's um, it's not, not quite a, a snake, but it's... Um, it's a blind... I think... Oh, what are they called? Blind beak snake? or I think they do fall under the snake family. Um, and they do indeed, but now I can't remember, and I've hit a complete blank. I will look it up as soon as I get back. I can't, I can't believe I've forgotten what these are. I've seen a few of them before. Um, but isn't this interesting? Now, I don't know what it's doing. I don't know if it's managed to find something in there that it's trying to kill. Or if it's trying to come back out or get in. I'm not sure. It, it hasn't been moving in or out. But isn't this fascinating? It is, a, it is a species of snake. It's definitely a species of snake, but I just can't remember um, what they're called again. Oh, you see what happens when you you sometimes uh, get used to seeing things and then uh, when interesting creatures like this pop out, you forget what they are. And I've had a, drawn a complete blank. Uh, yes, so it, it is definitely a blind snake, and Steph's watching in the um, in the FC at the moment. Yeah, so exactly, like I said, it's this blind snake, but I'm not sure w which one. But uh, maybe maybe a sh Shagel's blind snake. This is fascinating. Look at that. I wonder what it's trying to do in here. Oh, this is so cool. This is so different. Something very very unique. And different that we don't get to see often and these are the types of animals you could expect to see after rain um, because the soil's a lot softer and a lot of these blind snakes burrow a, f a lot and uh, when it is when the soil is soft like this then it's easier for them to move around and burrow but I wonder I think it's trying to get away I think it's trying to squeeze in there And that is fascinating. Some of these little blind snakes have got um, a bit of a hinge on the on the nostril, on the no, or not quite the nostril, but on the, the the mouth and the nose. That they're able to dig and burrow very, very well. I was hoping it'd come out for us. Have a look, maybe, so we can see that head, because they are very, very different looking. I wonder if it's not trying to eat something. I wonder if it didn't chase something in there, into this hole. <laughs> Isn't this fascinating? This is so interesting to see. How it's I'm trying to listen to see if I can hear anything. It does sound like it's eating something. Now, Omkar, you asked if it's venomous. Some of these blind snakes do have a bit of venom. Um, but I don't think anything that we need to be worried about. I think they're mildly venomous and they use venom to catch whatever they are eating, but I don't think we need to worry about it. Interesting behavior. Anyway, I'm going to sit around there for a while and see if it does come out. If it does come out, I'll, I'll get you back to have a look at it. But in the meantime, let's head back to Jamie with some baby dwarf mongoose. So it does look like this, mo uh, this blind snake is moving back into the termite mound. I'm not too sure what it was doing, unless it was feeding onto, I really have no idea. And we couldn't see inside, so I'm not sure. Or maybe it chased an insect in there and was after it and trying to catch it. But it does seem to have been moving quite a way in there now. And possibly lives inside this termite mound. 
But uh, what an interesting little creature. I mean, that really is fascinating. I'm so glad we got to see it. It was fascinating to watch for a while. But we're going to leave it alone, not disturb it, and carry on our walk and see what else we can find. And, oh, 